All right, once again, we back. Mercy Sports Talk. Let's talk about some Detroit Pistons. It appears that Victor Oladipo does not want to return to Indiana and that Indiana kill, could deal him as soon as the 2020 offseason get underway. Now, uh, the draft is supposed to be actually three days after the season. It's supposed to end October 12th. It's supposed to be October 15th. But with the three-day hiatus due to what's going on in the world right now, not sure if that date is still going to be etched in stone or they're going to move it back a little bit. But uh, let's talk about... Uh, possibilities of bringing Victor Oladipo to Detroit. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, button, share the video. I'm always cautious of players coming off injuries. He was out there playing until he got his eye poked, and I think he did come back in that Miami series, but uh, they end up getting swept by Miami, um, Indiana. And um, it's not like it's not clear to see if he's compromised. It just seemed like he a guy out there that don't have a rhythm. He's still making good passes, still moving pretty good after the leg injury. I think he will bounce back. Um, after leg injury don't forget this is a big 10 guy who was pretty good in indiana uh went high failed to meet expectations in orlando that wasn't a really good draft that he was in i don't think um went to oklahoma city learned from russ left there got traded for boy george aka paul george aka playoff pack and p aka pandemic p um and um you know he flourished there you know what i'm saying uh, i think he in his late 20s per se maybe in his early 30s and um you know, at this point, you love to have a good two-way guard who can make people better, who don't need the ball in his hand, who can spot up and shoot. But I don't think Detroit is quite right for Victor Oladipo. Now, would I give up the seventh pick for Victor Oladipo? No. Even if he was 100% healthy, I wouldn't do it. I think this franchise is going in the direction of youth. I think it's going in the direction of building through the draft. And uh, Victor Oladipo, I think he's going in the direction of kind of being a contributor to a championship uh, caliber team. Uh, I think, I mean, bar minimum, I think a good fit for him is Philadelphia 76ers. You hear talks about him going to Miami. I think Brooklyn is looking to add another third guy like him. They can't get Bradley Beal. Why not Victor Oladipo? Also, the the good thing about Oladipo, he got one year left for $21 million, million. So if you trade for him and he don't show you he the goods, you don't have to commit to giving him an extension. You know, so that's the great thing about it. But as far as the Detroit Pistons, I just... I just think we're going in the youth direction. I think, you know, the veterans that we got, Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin, are pretty much coming to an end, and we kind of getting that youth movement going on where, you know, maybe Bruce, whoever we draft, Hell Burton or, or Maxi or whoever it may be, uh, Christian Wood, Sayoko Diambo, I mean, Kyrie Thomas, we going into a youth direction. Now, you do need those important veterans that kind of keep the team on track. Right now, we got Derrick Rose for a year. Also, we got Blake Griffin possibly for two more years if we don't trade him an amnesty him. You still got Tony Snell. You still could bring back Lexington Galloway. So you have good veterans around the young guys right now. But it's all about building your foundation with young guys. It's, 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 a, it's a process. You build the foundation with the young guys. And then you continue to put the pieces right around them, the veteran guys. You know, you get your core. You know, hopefully your core can end up like Westbrook, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Ibaka down the line. Hopefully you can build a solid core like that. And I think the Pistons are pretty much, um, you know, if I had to give a grand scale of a percentage wise where they are at, I think I would say they're about 25 percent there. I believe in Diambo. I believe in Wood. If they get this draft pick right, they could be 30, 35 percent there. That's a nice core. If you get a nice, you know, good caliber point guard and then you're able to keep Wood and you're able to get a swing man like Diambo, then next year. You're able to add a two guard or a stretch four or whoever you're trying to guard, you know, add. That's a solid core right there, but you have to knock these picks out the park. And I believe, uh, I believe S. Stefanowski has done a great job. The only thing I didn't agree with him with was not getting Kevin Porter Jr. Could you imagine had they drafted Kevin Porter Jr. or had they been able to get Darius Baisley, where this team would be at? I mean, Baisley, Diambo on the wings, um, you know, or Kevin Porter in the backcourt with a point guard coming in this year. This team probably turnaround wouldn't be that long. You know, I don't think the turnaround going to be long to, anyway. You know, if Troy Reaver know how to evaluate talent, you know, I think you're looking at a solid team that's going to extend through the eighth seed in the next three or four years and be on its way up. And it's a good it's a good time to be like, that way. You know, Milwaukee may lose Giannis, Victor Oladipo and in Indiana may be coming down. Um, Boston, you, you know, you don't know what's going to happen with them. Um, so we're in a position where, you know, the next two or three years, a lot of those top teams are going to be falling and we're going to be rising. But I just don't see Victor Oladipo, you know, being the right fit right now. You know, by the time Victor Oladipo, we get up there and be contenders in the Eastern Conference, man, be fifth, fourth, third seed, Central Division contenders. Oladipo is going to be 32, 33 years old. I think where Oladipo want to be right now is competing on the grand stage for a championship. 
The Lakers are interested. They don't have no assets, though. You know, you know, it's a lot of teams, you know, Philly, Brooklyn, um, that can use the services. And I think, in my opinion, I think we are in a position, you know, where we could use them. I mean, you could take the seven pick and tell Indiana, give us Oladipo. But really, what does it solve? I mean, I would take a step back and I can sit out there and get a guy like Malik Beasley. That's a poor man's Oladipo. Hopefully he develop. He come here like Rip Hamilton did and develop and put the work in. I mean, there are better alternatives right, or cheaper alternatives right now for what this team is doing. So, I, you know, I like Oladipo. You know, maybe he was three or four years younger. Um, it'll be a nice fit. But am I am I surprised that he wants out of uh, out of Indiana? I'm not surprised at all. You know what I'm saying? You have, uh, and I'm not shitting on no Pacer fans. I don't have no ill will, ill will towards the Pacers. Reggie Miller is one of my favorite players. I even wore 31, 31 like Reggie Miller when I was younger, when I played uh, in the Catholic school league. All right, but you sit there and you look at it. You say, Paul George said they didn't want to spend the money, right? Larry Bird came out and said, I left because they didn't want to spend no money. They fired Nate McMillan, which probably Oladipo really liked. Like, I'm not coming back. I don't want to be nowhere where they're not committed to win. And also, they got to get rid of Miles Turner, you know what I'm saying, because they got Sabonis and Jeremy Lamb and Oladipo and Malcolm Brockton. They paid all the money. They don't want to pay nobody. So, you know, there may be a chance for people saying, oh, we should trade for Mo Bamba down to Orlando. It may be a chance where you can get Kyle, I mean, get Miles Turner, you know, but that's going to be predicated on uh, how healthy Sabonis is coming off their foot injury. Usually when big fellas have foot injuries, that linger for the rest of their career. So, you may be able to get Miles Turner. Is that a guy you want in the middle? I mean, it's something to think about. I mean, but as far if I do trade for somebody, I'll try to trade for Mo Bamba. I'm not giving my first round, seventh round pickup for him. But, you know, if I can get Mo Bamba and put him next to Christian Wood, you know what? Whatever I got to do to deal to get that, I'll try to deal. To, I'll try to get that done. You know, I think he could be in the middle. I think he ready to pop right now. You know, I'd rather look at Mo Bamba, Christian Wood, and then Diambo. And then you really probably somewhat you probably with that core and if you bring in whoever you bring in, especially if it's a good point guard, that core you probably fifty percent there, and being a contender that's gonna boost you up to fifty. You know, you know, so you know, like I said before, you know, I think they got options, but I think Oladipo, I think uh, he better off serve competing for a championship. I think he at the point where Blake at. They were 31, a little bit younger, maybe Oladipo. They're at the point of competing for championships and um, playing in meaningful games. I think Oladipo done playing on bad teams. And I think Blake is done playing on bad teams. And he want to go somewhere and win. That's just my humble opinion. But, hey, let me know what you guys think about possibly being involved with Victor Oladipo here. I just don't think it's a good fit. But don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You reach out if you have a business question, choir, response, your video request. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? Cash app, PayPal, in description. Don't forget to check out our Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Best way to donate is to share the video. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Wild Goodfellas Sports TV, right here on YouTube. One time for the one time we go.